Hello everyone, this is Sheldon from Shell Rock Art. I'm going to be doing a flip cup on this 10 by 20. Um, I'm actually going to be doing a multiple flip cup. I got three cups here that I'm going to be stacking. I will go over the colors, but because I'm going to be layering them differently, I will do one cup and then I'll just layer them different ways. But I have... Um, one, two, three, four, five. I have seven colors plus white that I'm working with. And the colors that I'm using are, uh, I think this is magenta, light magenta by Amsterdam. This is scarlet red, Arteza. Um, I believe this is called Bright blue by uh, pearl blue. I'm sorry by Arteza. Um, sea green pearl, Arteza. Phalo blue by Arteza. Pearl tangerine, Arteza. Yellow ochre, Arteza, and I have my white. Now I have silicone drops, two, two to three silicone drops in each cup, except for the white. So I'm gonna layer these colors in different ways. I'm not gonna go through all the layering. So let me layer my cups, and then I'll get back with you in a second. Okay, I'm back. I have my three colors or my three cups layered up and I'm going to do it on my flip one on each side and I hope that they work out. So let's get started. So here's one. That was a nice flip. Two. And three. Hmm. A little bit came out on the bottom of that one. That's okay. Let that rest for a second. Let those colors come down. How they blend, you don't know. That's the funny thing about flip cups. Flip cup was like a box of chocolate. You never know what you're going to get. I just hope these colors work out. And I'm not the best person to tilt, but are you laughing at me because I said I'm not the best person to tilt? Oh. I thought my wife was laughing at me. Once again, I say this is a 10 by 20 canvas. And what I'm gonna do is when, after I turn these over, I'm gonna try to get the colors to come together first. And then I'm gonna spread them out a little bit before I torch them. That way I can try to keep as many round cells as possible. Hopefully they don't sell up too badly before I get a chance to torch them. I don't need too much reaction. Okay, so I think since I did this one first, I think this is going to be my first one. So I'm going to do like a flip and drag, I guess. I should have kept that in the middle. But you don't want to put this little line right here. Okay. I'm just going to lift her up. Ooh, look at that. Okay. I think just lifting it is better. Now put some of this stuff on the corners here. Get some of this excess paint off. 
and good. It's not, um, what's the word? It's not selling up too much. So a lot of us, a lot of paint on here, that's for sure. So, let's spread this a little bit. Kind of rock it side to side this way. And then kind of rock it side to side this way. Should I beeline for this corner a little bit? It's still, it's a lot of paint on here. I'm still gonna have to do some tilting. I want to keep my line straight as much as possible. Pull you down. I'm going to work my way down this end. Pull you down straight. Come over. I'm going to pull you off this end here. I'm gonna get you straight. I love those lines, the stripes. Let me see if I can work you down slowly this way. Like this way, closer to this corner. And of course those lines are bending, but I'm gonna try to straighten those out. And then I'll tilt some more. There's a lot of paint still left on here. Okay, so now kind of bring you back a bit. Straighten some of the lines out. Okay, I think that's good. It's gonna have to be perfectly straight. But I do like the way this turned out so far. Now let me do some light torching to see where I can find some nice cells. So I'm gonna get some inside this little area here. Oh, there's some pretty cells coming up. Look at that. too close. See what happens there. All right. There's some coming up. Funny how the torch just brings those cells right on up to reveal what's underneath. Ooh, look at those. Definitely want to get some of that white out of there. I don't want to destroy my stripe. So I'm going to leave that there. 
but I got some nice cells popping up around the head. And it's nice to see them grow. Look at these nice turquoise in here. These multicolor cells are like awesome. Trying not to make this too cellulicious, but my goodness, some of these, some of these cells are just popping up so beautifully. And it's funny that as you torch, you have large cells, you have tiny cells because they're just growing and growing. That's going to be a keeper once it's done. So let me tilt some of this off. Maybe, maybe to stress some more of these cells out. I don't want to do too much. There's not a whole lot of paint that I'll be working with. Let me need some to come off this end. I don't, want, I don't want to stretch my cells too much. If I stretch them too much, they get funny and crazy looking. Like they already beginning to get uh, wonkalicious. I'm just going to leave that alone. I'm just going to let it dry like that. Torture too much? Mm, no, I don't think so. I do like the way the pink and all turned out here. These little bright blue areas pop up, popped up right there. You got this hot pink coming through there, and this red coming through there. I almost feel like I shouldn't do a smaller picture, but like I said, I don't want to tilt it. But what I can do, I can slowly spin it and see whether those colors will spread out evenly. That's what I can do. Let me see if I got clearance. Yeah, I got clearance. Okay, let me see if I can slowly spin this. And see whether or not those colors will spread out and get some of that stuff off the sides. Mm, something has got twisted and turned. Now I'm almost starting not to like it. I 
wonder if I torched it too much. It's very busy. that down a little bit, straighten some of those lines out. Maybe that'll help. Yeah, I think that helped a lot. Just want to straighten out some more of those lines. Yeah, I think that'll do it. So let me stop the camera and get you down for a closer look. And I hope you like it. I may do some modifications on it just because I feel like it. But let me get you down for a closer look after I do the modifications. Okay, folks. This is the final wet result. Um, I got to let it grow on me. I haven't done a flip cup in a long time. And I'm not really the best at the tilting aspect of it. But, like some of these cells here, got, of course, it gotten a bit wonky or distorted. But, like, I like these cells here. Oh, they have the nice blue ring around them. There's a little patch here, right? Right there with those white rings around the cells. And then it comes into this stark contrast with the pink. And then the olive green, which developed from the colors blending. And the magenta that pops up. And then you come here, you got these splashes of the bright blue that's in there. But of course, in the middle, it got a little bit uh, distorted too. In particular, this is the one area I don't like. It's just got this, these white distorted lines. And then it finishes up with this hot pink. <clears throat> and then this um, violet area down here, the darker area, has some interesting points to it. But again, I had to modify this little part right here because it got a bit muddy on me. But overall, it's a pretty psychedelic piece. So, someone will like it. I will grow to like it after a while. It's going to take a little while to warm up to me. But for now, thank you for watching. And this is Sheldon from Sherlock Art. And have a very wonderful day and happy pouring. Good night. <laughs>